Okay guys, so I've finally found a place to actually place this two um, new figure. Hello all dinosaurs, welcome back to a brand new video and today we are doing an unboxing of the new, okay, not exactly new but it is new to me at least, Prime 1 Studio, Tyrannosaurus Rex and Triceratops from Jurassic Park. So we're gonna do a couple of things in today's video. We're gonna do unboxing, review them, gonna compare it with some of the T-Rex and um, Triceratops figures, and then we're gonna place them all into our shelf together, okay? So let's get started. Okay, it's time to unbox um, one of these figures. I'm gonna choose the bigger one, which I suppose should be the T-Rex. I'm gonna use a box cutter to cut this open. If you're using this at home, please be really careful. And if you are a kid, please have your parents to help you, okay? Otherwise, you might just hurt yourself. Even though I hurt myself sometimes using the box cutter. Wow, looks really good. Check this out, guys. It's pretty incredible. Wow. Tyrannosaurus Rex 1 is to 38 skill prime collectible figures. Let's get this box out. Okay. I'm trying to get it out. Wow, the box looks amazing. I'm definitely keeping this box. Okay, let's open this up. Just gonna rip this open. The box just looks so cool. I'll probably display them in the box. I am not too sure. Please suggest down below. Wow, looks incredible. 1 is to 38 scale prime collectible figures Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's take a look at the front cover. Okay, this is the front cover actually. You can see this is like a clear window display. JP logo right over here, Tyrannosaurus Rex, limited edition, okay. At the side, you'll be able to see some disclaimer and some text. Plenty of logos right over here. And this is actually the back of the box, which you can see the beautiful illustration of this figure right over here. And it says, 18.2 centimeters, okay? And coming soon, which is a Brachiosaurus, and of course, we have got this as well. So let's take a look at the bottom. The bottom is just plain white. So let's just open this up. Be really careful. You know, I'm still caught in between whether we should be keeping the box. All right, if you take a look at this, you can see it is well, it's being well protected by, um, the foam, the styrofoam, as well as the plastic cover, which is really cool. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Okay, I've managed to cut loose the top covering. So the T-Rex, it's out from the box. And the base is actually right over here. So let's cut the tape loose. And um, just remove the base from this styrofoam casing right over here, okay? So the base is also out from the box. And it's time for us to put them all together. Okay, so here's the base and here is the figure right over here. So let's remove it. Wow, it looks pretty amazing. How should we go about doing this review? Okay, let's take a look at the base first. It is beautiful, very, very well detailed and intricate detailing done over here. You can see the nice Jurassic Park logo. It feels like it's metal, but I'm not too sure. And there are two little stands right here to hold on to the T-Rex. So let's flip it over. You'll be able to see a nice Jurassic Park logo and it says, one is to 38 scale, prime collectible figures, Tyrannosaurus Rex, one nine three two so this is probably uh, the serial number of this figure okay which is 1932 into edition so it's pretty cool prime one studio universal um, studios okay so this is the stand let's have a quick look at the t-rex on first look it actually reminds me of the Peppo t-rex which I'm gonna show you guys right now, okay? It looks, it just give me the impression that it's um, very similar to the Papo T-Rex, okay? Uh, let's take a look at this. Wow. 
Okay, there's no articulation on the jaw, there's no articulation on the arms, or the tail, or the legs, okay? This is basically a statue figure. So let's have a close look at the face. Wow, it's very, very beautifully done. You can see very nice detailing. If you take a close look at the eye, you can actually see a slight gloss, which has this watery effect. Nicely detailing done on the teeth as well. You can see plenty of scaling done. Creases right over here at the bottom of the neck. Intricately done, definitely. You can see some, some splatter of like, I'm not too sure, is this like purple paint? I can't really tell. But overall, this is a fantastic figure. Very nicely detailed. I love the paint work as well. And let's see whether this is able to stand on its own. I don't think so. Okay. But let's take a look at the feet. Very nicely done. You can see the butt light claws. Plenty of detailing done. You can see the scaling done. And the toe claws are actually painted with black glossy paint. That's really nice. You can see nice muscle definition going on over here. You can see the stripes across the body, which is very similar to the one from Peppo. Yeah, definitely, I mean. But of course, if you take a look at the Peppo, you can see it has is packed with plenty of details, even much more than this figure right over here. But of course, we, we can't really compare them. And overall, this seems like a very beautiful figure. I love the tail. It looks really long and elegant, very strong, and it keeps it balanced, I guess. Okay, it's time for us to place this figure onto its base. Alright, let's try this. Okay. I'm not too sure whether I have actually aimed it correctly. Okay, let's get this out again. Yeah, there you go. Oops. It's not really easy to actually place this in because it's not exactly that straight. So you kind of have to force one of the legs to go in. Yeah. I'm still having difficulties trying to stand this T-Rex onto its stand. So just give me one second. Okay, finally it is done. Nice. All right, this is looking really good. I love it. Wow, looks pretty cool. Okay, so this is the T-Rex that we are talking about. Next, we are going to take a look at the Triceratops, but let's just have another closer look at this beautiful figure, okay, up close. So if you turn this around, it looks so amazing. I'll probably place this in one of my T-Rex shelf or probably the JP shelf, I'm not too sure, so you guys can actually help me to decide later on. Okay, it's time for us to take a look at the Triceratops figure. Okay, next up, let's open up the box which the Triceratops is being kept in. I suppose this is much smaller because the box actually looks much smaller. <laughs> okay, so let's get this out. It's beautiful. Take a look at this box right over here. Looks pretty amazing. I think the Triceratops definitely will look better in the box. So all you need to do is just remove the plastic covering and you can just place it right back into the box and it will look like, you know, a fantastic display case for the Triceratops. So let's take a look at this. So you'll be able to see the Triceratops with a cutout picture of it right over here and it says Prime Collectible Figures Triceratops 1 is to 38. Nice JP logo right over here. Similarly, the name is written on the top. Plenty of disclaimer right over here. At the back, you'll be able to see some nice pictures. And um, the T-Rex and the Triceratops in a battle. So when it comes to an actual battle, I feel a Triceratops on its day will be able to take down a T-Rex cause it's actually a pretty strongly built dinosaur. Okay, so let's open this up. 
Okay, let's go. Let's take this out. Looks so cool. So I need to get this one out as well. Okay, let's get the base out first. Nicely wrapped. And here's the figure. Looks very cool. And this is actually about 60, 69 USD per figure. So I feel the price is still pretty reasonable. Because many of the Papo figures, Rebel figures, they actually cost a lot more. So I would say this is actually quite value for money considering it is a limited edition figure. So let's take a look at the base. I think it is very similar to the T-Rex in terms of um, the colors. This, is, this has a slightly lighter tone of brown, but you can see the nice Jurassic Park logo right over here as well. And this is actually 0294. As you guys can see, you know, the T-Rex has been like almost sold out. It's like 1,900 of them or so and this is like only 294 so definitely the T-Rex is just much more popular. So this is the Triceratops. Okay, at first glance, to be really honest, okay I'll just be really honest, I feel the legs are too big, the head is too small. It kind of looked unproportioned to me but I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that. So I'll probably show you some of the Triceratops figures that you know we, we, are, we are more familiar with. This is actually um, the Hasbro JP3 Triceratops, as you guys can see. I somehow feel the head of the Triceratops is too narrow. It's like too short, too narrow, too skinny. Yeah, it just look kind of weird. But overall, it still looks pretty amazing. And this little like pebble-like scaling on its body actually reminds me of an ankylosaurus. I'm not too sure about what you guys. Yeah, it's it looks kind of um cool, but of course JP Triceratops they're known to have this kind of pebble-like um, scaling done. I will show you guys another Triceratops figure which I'm a huge fan of. This is actually a um, PNSO. Triceratops Dolly, they call it Dolly, they name it Dolly. And I feel the proportion of this is much more balanced. Yeah, so that's how I feel. Maybe that's the reason why only 294 of these figures are being sold. Alright, but of course this can stand on its own. Yeah, but let's have a close look at this. In terms of detailing, this is definitely very well detailed, intricately done. You can see plenty of um, nice scaling done over here. You can see some wrinkles, you can see some skin folds, pebble-like, or um, articula I mean not articulation, detailing done over here. It's, it's pretty amazing. You can see the crown. Plenty of scaling done of different sizes. The paintwork is pretty amazing as well. There's some weathered look right over here. Some glossy paint to sort of like create a shiny look on this two horns not too sure why but hmm, yeah it's very glossy on this horn as well so it's, it kind of give it a very shiny look not too sure whether that is necessary for horns yeah because normally this horns should be very matte it should have a matte finish due to weathering and stuff but the body it's amazing take a look at the paintwork and the detailing it's very incredible. You can see some very nice creases right over here. Probably due to, you know, old age. You can see the nice wrinkling done, wrinkling skin. It's beautiful. So in terms of the detailing and the paint job, I would say this is very, very nicely done. You can even see some mud or maybe some soy at the bottom of, of its feet. Yeah, it's really nicely done over here. But I'm not too sure. It seems to be a bit too long, the legs and the head seems a bit too small. So that's my only complaint about this figure, but otherwise it is superly, it is superb. A very cool model, very cool figure. And if you place them together, it looks very amazing. Are you able to join? Not exactly. 
but you can place them together. Yeah, it looks really nice. So that's the Triceratops and the T-Rex for you. Okay, right now I'm going to bring these two figures over to my shelf and I want you guys to help me think of where to actually place them, okay? Okay guys, so we have to decide where to place our new T-Rex and Triceratops. Should I place the T-Rex right over here along with the other Jurassic Park T-Rex or should we just clear the space and place um, the T-Rex and Triceratops together right over here with the boxes behind? So that is one option. Or uh, we could actually have them right over here. So, hmm. I'll probably clear this and um, yeah, let's see, let's see. Okay guys, so I've finally found a place to actually place these two um, new figures, which is the T-Rex and the Triceratops, and I actually placed a box right behind to create like a backdrop. So I think it looks really good, okay? So basically, I've removed the Baryonyx and um, the little diorama and place them together with the Mosasaurus set right over here. So you have a Jurassic World set right over here. And this portion is just reserved for JP. I'll probably do some rearrangement in future when necessary, okay? So yeah, currently I'm pretty happy with this setup right over here. It looks really nice. I love the Jurassic Park logo just showing right in front. It creates a very nice vintage feel for this section right over here, yeah. And here are my other Jurassic World and Jurassic Park um, figures. So, yep, let me know what you guys think. Is this placement, you know, looking good for you? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.